but uh, while he residing at uh, Jetwana Monastery uh, with a reference with the Theratis. So uh, this is a common name that time. Many, many monks already have this name. This is the Isatheravattu. Say like this goes like that. Gamma Gabba Meke Upajanti Nirayam Papa Kamino Sagam Sugatino Yanti Parinibandanti Anasav. It's mean. Meaning is uh, on the screen, you can see that some are reborn as a human beings. Evil doers are reborn in a hell. The virtuous go to the heaven and the Arahans attend Nibbana. This is a very famous story in Dhammapada. So it's important also to understand the Kama and his effect. And uh, uh, also, it is it is uh, very interesting to understand about the samsara. So, <coughs> so this is uh, uh, this story uh, goes like uh, sorry, uh, I have to tell the meaning also. So, gabha meke upajanti gabha. Make upajanti. Gabba means womb. So it's meaning like that some enter the womb in this context. Okay. Some enter the womb. And some are reborn as a human beings. Gabba make upajanti. And anasava. Asava is a, asava is means a practicing defilement. Anasava means is practicing non no defilements. So Anasava, free from intoxications or passions. Asava means moral. It's different kind of Asava, Kama Asava, Bhava Asava, Avijja Asava, and uh, one more, I think. Kama Asava, Bhava Asava, Ditta Asava, Avijja Asava. I don't know. Oh, four is there. Okay, Asavas. I will take different, I will uh, teach about asavas and later some day. So, so asava means free from moral intoxicants or passions. An asava means, and asava means practicing a defilements. That is, uh, they have become a kinasava, an asava, or arahatasava. But uh, Anasava is connected with the uh, Arahans. So they, there is no defilements there. So it's always practicing like that. So the story goes, story of uh, Theratissa. So this uh, Theratissa was an uh, Arahant. So, and uh, he always go to Pindapata means for his uh, his uh, his food. He take a uh, food for twelve years from only one house, a jeweler house, a jeweler house. Okay, the person was a jeweler, but he's a good person. Okay, means uh, he every day he he donate every day he give a food dana. To this monk, this Theratissa. So one day, uh, this uh, jeweler uh, preparing a meat. He cut some meat and preparing for food. So his uh, his hand also covered with the blood of that animal smeared that that uh, blood smeared okay so so that time uh, king pasenadi sent uh, one servant with the one jewel so he gave a message to him that 
you have to cut the jewel and make something beautiful out of that. So that time, uh, this uh, Theratissa also come and uh, stand inside the house for a for it for getting the food dana. So this uh, this jeweler have a one pet that's a crane the crane the bird so when he saw uh, he he keep the the jewel and uh, and uh, keep uh, in his uh, drawer or like that somewhere and uh, because of uh, his uh, hand is uh, covered with blood that time he when he touched the that jewel the jewel also covered with the blood and uh, that crane uh, was hungry okay that crane was hungry and he come and gulp eat that jewel he think that it is a piece of meat okay and that time that uh, jeweler will go back to the inside for preparing food for the thera so that time that the crane eat that jewel, gulp that jewel directly. Okay, so Theratissa saw this and uh, he understand that if he tell that uh, this, uh, this bird eat that jewel, so he know the consequences what will happen to that bird because this jeweler will uh, kill that bird and uh, bring out that jewel from his uh, stomach. He understand. So after preparing the food, that jeweler come out of his house and uh, from his kitchen and uh, he before giving the food, he not able to find the jewel. Okay, so he get a little, little bit worried and angry. So he findings everywhere. So he go to the, his wife and uh, he asked that I'm not able to find the jewel because King Pasena did give us and it is very precious. So might be this monk take it. Maybe this Tera take it. So his wife say that don't say like that because this Tera, this monk is coming to our house from last 12 years and he never show any uh, outflow. Outflow means any, any kind of uh, short behavior or wrong behavior like that. So he never show that. So uh, you must not uh, heard the Thera or you must not ask. But out of his uh, ignorance and out of his defilement um, he go and he go and uh, ask Thera that uh, uh, did you take the jewel like that. So Thera say that I didn't take. And after the Thera this uh, get silent. Because he know that if he if he tell that uh, jeweler that uh, he not take the jewel but the bird eat it, then he understand what will happen. So that uh, jeweler go back to the uh, his wife again and say that uh, I'm going to uh, ask one time and after that if the monk not say anything, I'm going to torture him. So. Her wife, his wife, say, don't do this, don't do this. He, he, she always stopping. She always uh, conveying him to not do any anything bad to the any anything bad to the monk. But he lost his mind, and uh, his wife also said that uh, don't ask him. 
even uh, that jewel is gone we will go to the king and uh, uh, tell him and uh, if they punish for the as a servant for us if they keep us as a servant for a whole lifetime we will do that so that uh, jeweler say it is more than that okay, because even we we serve him as a servant for a whole lifetime that is also not convey the price that is also not compare the price so the king will surely hang us to the bed we go to the after the, we getting very angry we go to the monk and uh, he, he keep a rope in his uh, neck and uh, tight him and uh, beat with the stick very heavy stick to the to the monk but monk not saying anything he just he just uh, accepting his torture accepting his uh, his beating with the tolerance and patience because he was arhan not saying anything so after uh, after the beating that uh, monks blood is come out from streams it's like a streams coming from his head and nose and ears because of the beating after that uh, that a crane also coming and drinking the blood of that monk which is uh, flowing on the floor so seeing this uh, seeing this uh, that uh, jeweler get very very angry and he keep the he he get the stick and beat the bird also that crane after that a uh, crane is uh, died but monk is not sure that crane is died or not so he asked to the servant that uh, this bird is died or not so that monk say sorry that uh, servant say yes he is died and next is you so like that he saying so monk not delay and say that uh, i not take the jewel but uh, this crane eat it so that jeweler uh, get the bird and cut his stomach and get the jewel after that he feel very very embarrassed okay. very very embarrassed he kneel down and asking the forgiveness okay because he found the jewel in crane's stomach and uh, the gem polisher realized that he he make a very big mistake and trembled with the fear he got very very fearful so he asking forgiveness he asking the forgiveness and pardon so so tera this is say that uh, my disciple it's not your fault or not it's not not my fault it's a samsara it's fault of samsara because it's uh, it's not not by it's not a bad deed by you or good deed by me or bad deed by me it's the fault of samsara okay. so we say that uh, this is this happened because account of what has been done in our previous existence it's just our debt in samsara okay and uh, he said that i feel no ill will no grudge towards you is uh, and he said that uh, that this happened because it happened because i enter uh, enter the house okay from today uh, i will i would uh, only stand at the door i will not enter the any house but uh, and that uh, that uh, jeweler also requesting him that please uh, don't go uh, away from us please come every day and uh, take the food from us but 
out of injuries is a heavy injuries that a monk also terath is also know that is going to die but he not uh, he not blame anyone or any any consequences happen because of arant he, uh, he got the nibbana later the bhikkhu asked for the that where is the all the characters were reborn where the all people reborn so so the lord would say that the crane that bird was reborn as the son of jem bolishit he is a uh, he born he is reborn as a jem bolishit son and uh, the wife wife for reborn in the heaven you know why why wife reborn in the heaven because she she stopping the that uh, jeweler to involve in the bad karma just on the account of that okay because she she protecting the monk she protecting the arahant so she reborn in the deva world and the tera is already arahant so he realized nibbana and the polisher he reborn in the niraya in the hell so lord buddha say like this so that's why lord buddha say that some are reborn as a human being the bad one reborn in the niraya continuous dharma niraya the righteous one go to the world deva world and the, who is the free from the defilement intoxicants they realize nibbana So this is a story that we must understand that from this Dhamma Parvas that uh, it is the part of samsara that we whatever we getting whatever whatever the bad and good we get it is the part of samsara and it is our past karma. But if we do the present action morally and uh, mindfully, then surely the bad will not come to us. also we must understand that suffering not turn into the bad suffering also turn into the good the peace also we can say we can see that the crane that bird after beating beated very hardly by the stick he reborn as a human being we can we can see that always suffering not goes to the bad but evil door evil did always go to the bad evil evil did always go to the suffering but all suffering never goes to the suffering suffering sometimes goes to the good and suffering sometimes goes to the peace also so we must understand from this that our choice also goes to the heaven that good destination places and uh, the arahants those who are free from the all asavas goes to the nibbana so we can learn from this thing from this dhamma padavas that we should not engage with the any bad that's the story of dhamma padavas i hope you understand